Big changes at the Ellen Show after multiple allegations that it was a toxic place to work. Three top producers have now, quote, parted ways. But the horror stories keep coming. One guest on the show telling Inside Edition that she was told, whatever you do, don't be funnier than Ellen. She spoke with Jim Murray. I need uh, Dana DiMatteo. This audience member on The Ellen Show is now revealing how she went from thrilled to getting really upset. You just expect a lot when you go to meet like your idol. And then when you get disappointed, it's like such a letdown. In 2018, Dana DiMatteo flew from Chicago to Los Angeles and was delighted to be picked out of the audience to have some fun with Ellen. But then she says she was shocked when she was briefed on the comedy bit by the producers. They tell you, you know, you can't be smarter, funnier than Ellen. She's the comedian and the star, not you. Ellen's motto is be kind. Be kind to one another. But Dana says Ellen was actually the opposite on the day she visited. How does the Ellen we see on TV compare to the Ellen you saw when the cameras stopped rolling? Totally different. Um, she would only speak to the audience when the cameras were rolling. As soon as they turned the cameras off, she would not even acknowledge the audience. She would just sit on the couch, basically. Even when she exited, she just said what she had to say on camera and then walked off. Dana appeared in the Make It Rain segment, where guests can be drenched with money or water after they answer trivia questions. <laughs> Wet and shivering, Dana says she was treated horribly by producers afterwards. They told us they were gonna give us dry clothes to change into, so they had us like waiting in a hallway by the bathroom, and it's almost like they forgot about us because we were waiting there for a good 45 minutes. And finally, they, and it was freezing cold. On Monday, Ellen remotely addressed her staff about the current allegations of turning a blind eye to a toxic work environment. She reportedly teared up and apologized, saying she's not perfect, and calling the disturbing allegations of the atmosphere on her show heartbreaking. She also responded to rumors that staffers are not allowed to look her directly in the eye, calling them crazy and not true. Former Ellen Show producer Hedda Muscat doesn't buy Ellen's tearful apology. You can't wake up 17 years later and say, oh, I didn't know, I had no idea. You were part of that. You're the one who knew about it, you witnessed it, you encouraged it. Warner Brothers also announced a major shakeup at the show. Three top-level producers are out after staffers accuse them of misconduct. They are Jonathan Norman, Kevin Lehman, and Ed Glavin. A photographer caught up with Kevin Lehman today. Kevin, do you think you and the other producers deserve to get fired? He didn't respond, but his attorney calls him an innocent man and popular figure and says he is devastated by being scapegoated. Jonathan Norman has denied all allegations. Ed Glavin has not responded. We reached out to Ellen's representatives and were told they had no comment.